Childhood obesity has more than doubled in the past 30 years. Today, one in five children in Europe is overweight, 8% being obese. What's more, the figures are set to get even worse. It's so bad that some experts are even comparing the situation to that of an epidemic. Research, however, is throwing more light on the issue. Six years ago, 16,000 children took part in a survey. Now they're being checked again in a further study called iFamily. We know, of course, that physical activity and dietary behavior have something to do with metabolic disorders and the development of obesity. This is well known to us, but we don't know exactly where to start if we want to bring prevention. So, what exactly are the factors that cause some people to eat unhealthily or that certain people have too little exercise? What exactly are the barriers preventing us from choosing a healthy lifestyle? To help find answers to these questions, the children, who are all now teenagers, are examined in a specially equipped van for the project, where they're measured and weighed and samples taken. As part of the survey, they're also asked about their lifestyle, including their diet and how much sleep and exercise they get. From the earlier study, it's already been shown that even things like watching adverts on television and sleep shortage play a part in weight gain in children. But researchers are also learning that it's not just what happens after birth that counts, but during pregnancy too. Early Nutrition, another European project, has found that diet during pregnancy and of young infants could be the cause of later obesity in children. Professor Bertolt Kaletzko at the Dr. von Haunisches Children's Hospital in Munich is trying to learn more about this phenomenon. It's long been known that fewer breastfed children are overweight, and we believe that this is because breastfed infants gain weight more slowly during the first two years of life compared to those who've not been breastfed. We've now carried out a randomized comparative study where we compared two infant formulas that differed in protein content. We're now seeing that if we lower the protein content of the infant formula to the protein level of breast milk, we can actually reduce the risk of school children becoming overweight significantly. From all of this, the EU hopes to gain a better understanding of childhood obesity and its causes. Only then will we be able to see a reduction in the very high number of overweight children in Europe. Ultimately, though, it's up to all of us to work together to ensure our children grow into healthy adults.